Hi folks, I got a hunt here I want to show you. It's a pretty good one. It's a youth hunt. Uh, it's Alex Hall and his son Grayson. You know, Grayson's seven years old. And you watch this video and it's going to show that Alex has spent a lot of time with Grayson. Even though he's just seven years old. Uh, you know, I guess I want to ask y'all a question. Uh, how'd y'all get started hunting? Did your dad take you? Your grandpa? Or, uh, you know, an uncle or something like that? Or did you just get... Started on your own. Well, you know, leave in comments. I'm curious to know how most hunters out there that's watching this show how they got started. You know, you know, because one thing, you know, I'm getting a little older now, and you, you see a lot of kids grow up. Uh, I've seen a lot of dads that took their kids, and it's not all boys. I know a couple that took their girls that was really spent time with them when they was this age, carried them hunting and stuff. And I see these kids now growing up, and they're raising kids, and man. They make good parents, y'all. Uh, so, hey, get your kid out there. Spend time with them. Get them out in the woods. Uh, get them where they enjoy the outdoors. Because they'll pass these values down to their kids, y'all. So, hey, watch this video here. Well, this is not how you want to start the morning. We got to go pretty far in this morning. So, I was going to bring a four-wheeler. Go halfway so Grayson didn't have to walk as far. Got out here. Trailer's got a flat. Come on, wake up. You ready? Yeah. You ready to go? Did you get your nap out? I didn't get it fully out. You didn't get it as close as I wanted to on the four wheeler. I don't know if you can tell it on here, but it's starting to break daylight. We ain't gonna make it to the food park like I wanted to before it gets to daylight. We're gonna get as close as we can, stop up on top of the hill above the food plot. But listen, maybe, maybe if he hits the ground, we can get on down there after he's on the ground. I feel like he'd been in a tree, he'd be able to see us if we went all over the food plot. But we're gonna get, work our way on in there.
Look at you go, boy. <laughs> oh, the ants came out, and those ants came for you. Yep, he was asleep. <laughs> look, look, I didn't want to wake you up because I didn't want you to move. Look, he come walking up right here, right here. I heard a limb, I heard a limb break, and I turned around, and he was standing right there. And then he come walking right up through here. been gobbling it's probably been 45 minutes since we heard him gobble and I, I knew all his hands was up here so I figured eventually he was gonna come up here but he was straight out in front of us last time he gobbled then he was sitting there asleep then laid down on his belly asleep and I was sitting here playing on my phone and watching these hands and I heard a limb pop far over my right shoulder coming from behind us and I looked and he was standing there that far, 30 yards. And I thought he'll never walk by without seeing us because I was stuck out like a sore thumb. But he did. He come right around the edge of us without seeing us and went up there to the hens when he come out of the field. He seen the decoy. I know you waited till he was right behind the tree before you shot. <laughs> I don't think I got him, got him on camera when you shot. But I sure wasn't going to tell him not to shoot. I, Especially as much as he was moving. What did you do that one time? He was almost here and you fell backwards. <laughs> was you trying to move the gun that way? Yeah. Yeah, all you had to do is keep a gun pointed at that decoy. He was coming. But I didn't even let him get to that decoy. <laughs> no, he didn't. I was getting my shot right there. But then he came to the tree. And... All I saw was its neck, so I just guessed to get my shot right there. Did you put it on his neck? <laughs> seven year old. Just turned seven. Second turkey this year. You excited? <laughs> he was ready to go home, too. <laughs> I know he was going to come up here eventually. Especially with his hands being here. Well, when we were... We were, when we were coming, we were right behind us and um, we heard a turkey go from right there and um, to the back of this field. Yeah. And um, I'm surprised that turkey that was back in the field, he probably came around or the turkey that was right there, he could have come around past that hunt, shooting house and came around us and went to that field. Yeah. Look at that thing, boy. Second okay. day we came, we never wasted a day when we came. Nope. Second time, second bird. Check out his beard. Go first. 